Hi, my name is Mio and I make art on the internet. In this video I would like to go through the symmetry tool on Procreate and how it works. This is something that has been requested on my TikTok account time and time again, so I thought I would just make a whole video about it here. So the first thing that I've done is to make a new canvas, and that you do in the menu here, and you click on the X, and then I like to use the square. And then to activate the symmetry tool, we click over here in this corner. Then we click on canvas and then drawing guide and turn that on and then we cl can click on edit drawing guide underneath that. After we've done that, we can click on symmetry over here and then we have some options. We have vertical, horizontal, and we're going to start with the vertical one. Up here, you can choose the color of the line in the middle. I personally like to use the turquoise or the magenta. Then we've got some different options down here. We have the opacity and the thickness, where you can change the thickness and the opacity of the line. When the settings are to your liking, you can just click on done, and now you can draw on both sides. I personally use this feature a lot for portrait drawings, because you can go a lot faster and you only have to draw one side of the face. So this really is a game changer, and I really recommend checking it out. So here I'm just making a quick example drawing of how you can use it and here I'm just putting in the finishing touches and there it is but then if you go into your layers and add a new one that layer is not assisted like the other one so you can see that it does not draw on both sides so to fix this we're going to click on the layer and click on drawing assist and now I can draw on both sides again and the same goes for if you want to take the drawing assist off. You just click on the layer and then you click on drawing assist. Here's an example of what I've made with the symmetry tool on vertical mode. And here are a few other examples. The different symmetry tools can be good for different types of drawings. So if I just go into edit drawing guide and then click on horizontal and of course erase the old drawing, then you can see that we draw horizontally instead of vertically. I personally haven't used the horizontal mode very often, but I what I have used it for is to make a landscape with water underneath. So I would just draw and then it mirrors and then I will liquefy the bottom over here. This is something that I did in this drawing, so you can see that the drawing is the same up here and down here, and then I just liquefy the bottom. If we go back to the edit drawing guide option and click on options and then we can click on this one that I do not know how to pronounce, quadrant maybe, um, and click on done, then we have uh, four sections instead of two. So now it mirrors in four ways. So this can be really cool if you want to make label designs like this or if you want to make some decor pieces. I personally have used it mostly for floral designs, like for example this uh, floral coloring book page that I made a while ago. It's definitely worth uh, trying out, very fun. Then the last symmetry option is over here and it's called, I can't pronounce that either, radial, I think. And um, we just click on that one and done, erase the old piece. And now we have even more sections to play around with. Personally, I haven't used this one very much, but it's still very fun. We also have a little extra feature that I think is worth mentioning, and that is also in the uh, edit drawing guide and in options. But then we click on rotational symmetry. When you draw with rotational symmetry, the line sort of follows you like this. So it goes the same direction that you're going instead of mirroring it. So it can make for pretty cool effects. So that was it for this tutorial. I hope you liked it, hope you learned something and that it answered some of your questions. Thank you so much for watching, have a great day and goodbye.